Psalm 42, verse 2. Psalm 42, verse 2. And as the deer long for stream of water, so my soul long for you, O God. Psalm 63, verse 1. When the Psalm of David, when he was in the wilderness of what? Of what? Of Jordan. I am preaching on what I title hunger for him. There are many Christians today who are hungry for power, hungry for food, hungry for clothes, hungry for business, hungry for a house, hungry for car. All grief for visa, but the love and hunger for God has disappeared. Follow me, ladies and gentlemen. In your life, there is a vacuum that money cannot occupy. There is a vacuum that fame cannot occupy. There is a space created in humanity <laughs> that no paper, no currency <laughs> can occupy it. <laughs> there is a vacuum in man, <laughs> in human being, <laughs> that no connection, <laughs> no political greatness, <laughs> no business can occupy. <laughs> there is a vacuum, <laughs> there is a space <laughs> that God has created in humanity that your wife cannot occupy, that your children cannot occupy, that no matter what you have gotten, nothing can occupy that place except God Almighty. Follow me. People think that all in life, all about life is money. You can get money to a point and yet you are not fulfilled. Because there is this hunger for God. The place we read in that psalm, the Bible says, David was talking. He said, as the deer, deer is like an animal, like a dog that drinks water in a hurry. It's always taste for water. It doesn't drink water always. But anytime you want to drink water in a season, it can finish a drum of water. It says, as the deer part for water, so my soul long for you. Ladies and gentlemen, who was a David? Or who was David? A warrior. A man that was, he was a king, and yet he still long for God. A man that has everything in his possession and he still had desire to say God even the money did not take your place even the position did not take your place even your the fame did not take your place I am anointed because in first Samuel chapter 16 all he came on his head he has seen praise in second in first Samuel chapter 18 they said David killed 10,000 and saw kill a thousand in first Samuel chapter 17 he stood before Goliath and confronted Goliath David he have seen fame, he has seen oil, he has seen power, but yet he said, I am still longing for you. How many of us will buy those just one car as he remember there is God? How many people will say, despite the money in my account, I remember it is the Lord that giveth power to make wealth. No matter the beauty I carry, it is the glory of God that is radiating in my life. I can't take it for granted. How many Christians are sitting down that no matter the certificate, no matter the queen speaking English, the place of God remains the place of God. 
Paul said, What shall separate me from the love of God? What shall take God away from me? Get to a point in your life that no matter what you have seen, it cannot disconnect you from God. He said to Peter the other day, Love is that me that this I may have money, but the place of God is the place of God. I may have fame. The place of God is the place of God. Somebody shout, God is God. In John chapter 3, in verse 1 to 8, the Bible said there was a man called Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He was not a poor man. Ladies and gentlemen, God is not the God of the poor. He's the God of the rich too. People think that those who come to church are those who need money. People think that those who come to church are those who are broke. People think that those who come to church are those who are beggars. They use Lazarus to copy the things of today. Don't forget there is Abraham even where there is Lazarus. Open it. Open it. Wait. Wait. Oh. No let your position enter your head. People have occupied it before and yet they were not satisfied. God said, I mean, Nicodemus said to Jesus, he said, no man can do this miracle except God is with him. What time did he visit Jesus? He visited Jesus at night. He went and seek Jesus in the night. How many rich men still look for Jesus in the night? The fee is for men that go to all night. Yes, sir. Who knows some of us now? You are too big to come to all night. You are too polished to pray the night. When last did you wake up and seek Jesus in the midnight? When last has God heard your voice in the midnight? What do you do when you wake up in the night? Some of us sit down, you start calculating your business. You carry calculator, you calculate everything. The Bible says, what shall he profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? There is a way that seemeth right unto a man but their end thereof in destruction. Ladies and gentlemen, come to a point in your life that no matter the fame, no matter the money, no matter the beauty, no matter the connection, no matter the position, you see have time to seek God because all this thing that you seek will vanish like a vapor very soon. I pray from my heart that the love, wherever you are watching me, your love, your passion for God will not go dry. We not get cold. We not go dry. We not get cold. If you shout amen, you are the one I am talking to. Hunger! For him 